Welcome to Hammering and Everything. In this video, I want to show you how to link your YSF reflector or any YSF reflector to your All Star Link. Now, as a side note, you're actually not linking YSF directly to All Star because that would be really complicated, unnecessary, and it honestly, from what I've heard, wouldn't sound as good. So, um, what we're going to be doing instead is linking your existing DMR bridge that you have running on All Star and then link YSF to that. I have done that and it works extremely well. Um, and I assume you already have a DMR bridge set up on All Star if, because the, usually for most people the next step is to get YSF if they're trying to make a little link system. So let's get into the video. I'll show you how this works and what software you're going to need. It's actually super, super easy. Anyone can really do this. Or if you're also interested in just bridging DMR to YSF and you don't even care about All Star, this will also explain you how to do that. Okay, so first you want to SSH into a Debian machine. Now, you can't use an already existing DBSwitz installation on All Star, so you're going to have to make a separate machine. Now, you don't have to port forward anything, which is really good. Um, so, do not use your existing All Star to do this. You can get another Raspberry Pi, or you can make another server. It can be 512 megabytes of RAM, so you can, you can actually put this on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Or you could just put it on a super cheap cloud node for like 512 megabytes. I have a virtual machine, so I want to be running this on here. So you can't use an existing DB switch installation. So what I want to do is CD here. You don't have to do this. You can put in whatever directory you are. Okay, and then I'm going to, uh, what we're going to do, all, all the commands are going to be in the description. I'm going to get DB switch. I'm going to sudo get db switch. There we go. We got it. 200. Okay, that means it is successful. It wrote correctly. So we're going to chmod this. And now this command, it pretty much makes what we just downloaded executable. So what this is, it's kind of like an executable file, but it's for Linux. So we're going to make it an executable file so we can actually do, run stuff on our system without having any issues. And now this command is what runs Buster, which is what DB Switch uses to install DB Switch. So we're going to add the repository to our system. And this might take a little while, so I want to skip in to when this is done, and we'll run a couple other commands. Okay, it's done. We're going to sudo apt-get update, which pretty much gets DB Switch. And it shows that that's the repository and where to get it from. There we go. So I ran into this error where it says no public key available. I ran into this issue before. So I'm going to go to db switch. I don't want to go to db switch. I want to go to their groups.io topics. I'm going to scroll down until I see. Yeah, right here it says DB switch server install on all star failed key server error. So if you ever run into this error, just go to the search bar and search key server error, and we're going to run these commands. Okay, so what I had to do is in the command, it was incorrect. So we have to separate this by here with a dash, and it says okay. And then we apt update. So on here where it has this dash, just copy this with the dash, and then after that, run apd update, and it should work. Okay. So now we can move on with the installation. apt get update. Okay, now we're going apt get install db switch dash server. There we go. We hit y, and then now it's installing db switch after a lot of that headache. So remember, um, if you're doing this, make sure you get a fresh copy of Debian. So you go to, you search Debian, there's a website, get the ISO file, install it on whatever you're using. Make sure that there is no desktop environment, so somewhere in the installation, it'll ask what desktop environment you want. Um, choose, just don't choose any of them, make sure they're all blanked out. Enable the SSH server if you want to SSH into it without having to set up stuff later. Um, and if you want a web server, you can. I don't know why you'd want that. I just disabled the web server on my Debian machine that I am using to run um, DB Switch. So once this is installed, we'll get rolling on 
what is actually really, really easy. The bridge itself is the most simplest bridge that you can make on DB Switch. It's super, super easy. All you have to do is edit a little bit of config, and it is done. Okay, it's done. Now let's um, CD into opt MMDVM bridge. Now, um, at this point, I recommend you do sudo s if you can, so you can get into root, because that just makes it you don't have to type in sudo every single command um, when we're doing this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to nano mmdvm bridge. So we're, first we cd'd into opt mmdvm bridge, and now we're going to nano mmdvm bridge dot ini. There we go. So here you just want to input your call sign, your call letters, or whatever. Put in your DMR ID right here. Um, I'm going to put it with a 56. So that's a little ESS ID that we put right there. Now, um, if you want to bridge YSF to DMR, enable DMR and enable System Fusion. Scroll down, enable DMR network here, and then at the address, this is the address that you're going to be using for BrainMice or TGIF. So in this example, we're going to do TGIF.network since they don't block people for whatever reason um, when it comes to doing bridges. Here you just put in your password. I'm not going to put in my password. Uh, this is a I'm not actually going to make this bridge because I already had this bridge up and running, but I will show you. Actually, I'm not going to show you because that's my passwords. Um, we're just going to scroll down. System Fusion. We're going to enable that. Now, the only thing you have to change is gateway address. This is the IP address of the server. Now, how do you find that out? Well, if you're not linking to your own um, YSF reflector, um, first, you got to make your own YSF reflector, and there you could just search. There should be a pretty good tutorial somewhere out there. You just copy and paste a few commands. Okay, so if you are just wanting to bridge it so you can hear it on All Star, I would not recommend doing this unless you have other people's permission. If it's going to be on an All Star that other people use, um, so we're just going to go to YSFreflector.de, and we're going to go here. Dashboards. No, not dashboards. Registry. Registry.ysf reflector.de. Okay. And so pretty much you just search whatever you want. So I'm just going to search code. For me, I want to link to CodeLink. This is the idea. So this is the host. This is what you want to put in this field in the gateway address. That's going to be the IP address or the host name of the YSF reflector. This is what mine is right here. The port. This is the port of the YSF reflector. Some of them can change, like this one's 4202, or 42002. Um, mine is just the default port, which is 42000. So then you go down here, and you type in the port. Mine's 4220. So coda link. What is my host name? It's coda asl. Coda asl.k0 and k then you control O and you can but before that. So we got YSF enabled, local address, local port, that doesn't really matter. We got gateway address set up correctly in the gateway port, which is so far wise. We got TJIF network. Um change the jitter to 760 and then the password is make sure you have your password set correctly. Um scroll up, we got DMR enabled, and then we got suspicion okay. Control O. Then control X. Now we're going to nano db switch .ini. We're almost done. The bridge is almost complete. This is super, super easy. So we're going to go down here and how the bridge works. So now, MMDVM bridge, it's connecting to the YSF reflector. It's connecting to DMR. Now it's just got to send that audio information out so they're linked together. In this case, how it works is if someone transmits on the YSF reflector with a user radio, okay, if a transmit, um, the YSF reflector sends that data to MMDVM Bridge. Now, MMDVM Bridge is transmitting that data on ports. Um, and DMR is doing the same thing. It's also listening on ports. So how it works is pretty much 
it virtually sends the DMR or the YSF data through the different ports, and that's how it works. So I, I want to show you that more in depth. So what we're going to do here, this is the transmit port and DMR port. Export talk group. I'm to, you can set that to whatever you want. I do that on the talk group that I'm using for TGIF. I don't know if that's actually what that's for or not. Um, and then you just scroll down here to the bottom where it says YSF. So on here, the only thing you have to change is the port. So I think it's 33003 and then 33000. So you got to make sure these are lined up correctly. So DMR, it's transmitting on 31100. So that's sending data on 31100. That's transmitting the signal on 31100. So on YSF, we need it to receive DMR on 31100. So if someone sends information on DMR, it transmits out on port 31100. And YSF listens and receives that data if it's told to listen on 31100. So that's what we did. Um, so if we scroll back up here, DMR is transmitting or it's receiving on port 31103. So if we go back to YSF, we make YSF transmit on 31103. This works exactly how you would program in a repeater and the way the repeater receives its stuff. It's the exact opposite. So it links together properly. YSF transmits. Someone talks on the YSF reflector. It transmits on three. It gets sent to MMD Vimbridge, which then sends that data on 31103. Transmits out. DM, the DMR network receives that on 31103. So you want the ports flip flop. So on YSF transmit port 31103. DMR receiving 31103. YSF transmitting on 31100 DMR transmits 31100 so that's how that works you use control O control X now all you have to do is this sudo if you're not using root I'm in root system ctl enable sorry so enable mmdvm bridge all lowercase once you run that command, it'll enable MMDVM bridge. Then all you have to do is do a sudo reboot or just reboot the server. And then the next time when you boot it up, it'll automatically link YSF to DMR together. It's that simple, guys. Super, super simple. It just takes the DMR data, sends it over UDP port. I believe it's UDP ports within the computer or the virtual machine of the Raspberry Pi. And then it just sends that data back and forth. It's it's that easy. It's the easiest bridge you can do with DB switch. Um, so it, if you just link um, your DMR talk group that's linked to All Star, and you just link that DMR talk group to YSF, then boom, All Star, DMR, YSF, all linked at the same thing. This is what my network looks like. So how it's linked is we got All Star here. And then it's connected to Echolink, it's connected to Hams over IP, and it's connected to Hamshack Hotline all throughout AllStar. AllStar is also running a DB switch server, so it's connected to this DB switch server right here, which bridges DMR TJF Tucker 350 over to AllStar, which then is so AllStar is pretty much the main hub of everything, controls everything. And then I have a secondary DB switch server running on a Debian Linux machine. And that bridges DMR and YSF together, just like that. So um, pretty much anyone can do this. All you have to do is get it all started up and running, link DMR to it. It's super easy to do Echolink, Hams over IP, and Hamshack Hotline. Um, and everyone has Echolink. Quite a lot of people have Hams over IP and Hamshack Hotline. Um, and then with a DB switch, you can enable DMR and YSF. So in a future video, I will be showing you how to actually enable DMR using DB switch to Allstar because all the documentation that I see that's easy to use with for Allstar that is not using Hamboy um, it's right here. So if you are one, if you do use Hamboy, Freddie Mac KD5 FMU from Ham Radio Crusader, he has an awesome video on how to link um, DMR to your all-star node that's running Hamboy.
Um, so you can just search how to do that in YouTube and you'll be able to find it. So if you found this YouTube video helpful, please like, subscribe, um, and we'll see you on the next one.